The Bloodhound record attempt has inspired us to do this amazing project at school. This week, we're at the Witch School in Worcestershire. Inspired by the Bloodhound project, and with the help of fabulously enthusiastic teachers and local ambassadors, the children have taken their engineering adventure to a whole new level. From early balloon-powered cars, they quickly progressed to more complex designs using water rocket power. They took their driving theory tests, learned about chassis design, and even tested rockets and jets in their playground. But the children wanted to go further still. They were fascinated by how fast the water rockets went, but just thought it would be absolutely fantastic if they could build the carts themselves to drive. So um, we started off with some 2x2 wood and drew some simple designs using the triangulation from the water powered rockets and they formed the chassis that are now covered in what we call coral flute to give them a more aesthetic pleasing look to them. This is the descender, um, that's the chassis, that's what it looks like if you took off all the paneling. Steering wheel, which is a pair of bike handles, yep. it's got a very unique hood here. So then. So you get in and then there's this secure foaming so if we crash we will hit the foaming and it won't hurt. We've got a pink go faster stripe. Triangle. In here we have a lever so when we pull it back it will scrape against the wheels on both sides to make the wheel stop rolling. If anything were to happen, if the car were to topple over, it's just so that we wouldn't fall out and it, and it, it looks cool. Made, yeah, it looks yeah. cool. Yeah. We spray painted it with... And I for Cyclops. And the ropes are tied onto the axle. And when you pull the ropes, the axle moves. And we've added this piece of tape just in case like the sun gets in. Either. Yeah. Like we thought of the lightning bolt because lightning's well fast and our car is fast. The children have really enjoyed building the carts. They spent many lunch times and break times finishing different components of the carts. And they were very disappointed last time when they couldn't test them due to the poor snow. It's just fortunate on a sunny day like this, we get a chance to test the carts. And they're all very competitive as well. They all want to win.